same thing for the Every last six time. visits. Right. It says right. the the patient is stable, don't change the medicines, blah, blah, blah. You know, our quick plans, right. where we use those quick plans and those quick plans say the right. exact same thing. Yeah. So it's like, was the patient really seen? Sure. Did you just you talk know, to him? Did you talk to him? Did you <laughs> yeah. even really, did the doctor really walk into the room? Right. Something additional should be added. So, so, so if you're going to copy. pages where you get it to turn red, Ex we yeah. should be tweaking a little. Okay. Okay. So let's talk about the turn red. <laughs> okay. It stay red. We've already had Well, no, yeah. I understand that. But what I'm saying is like, you if give you, an adjustment, If right? you choose, like, if. If you were to choose to use the copy data forward on the exam page, the idea was that you should change something so that it looks like something else was done. Because something okay. else did actually happen. happen. Right. 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 So the doctor really did come in and look at that patient in the exam room. The place that this was getting confusing was with our diabetic patients. Pa right. It got confused to where I don't even so, understand okay, how so it got this way. But we didn't get a chance to talk to it, talk about it yet. But what was coming up is that if a patient is diabetic and there are no macular findings or no oh. diabetic retinopathy findings, you can use the default. It doesn't have to be read anywhere. Okay. So if you've got an exam page, you've got a diabetic patient who has no macular edema, no hemorrhaging, no background diabetic retinopathy, you can click on the within normal limits and this here, flat, no hemorrhages, etc. Perfectly That's fine. fine. Perfectly oh, fine. It doesn't have to turn red. Wait a minute. This, they is, they a, this is a this is a diabetic change. patient that has absolutely nothing. no eye findings. Right. Absolutely I was still nothing. Told to put no I'm <coughs> okay, no. so here I'm gonna tell you the right way to do it. Okay? So no findings, nothing, nothing has to change. This can be the default. Okay? If this changes, if there is a finding, if there's some NAs or something going on, mm -hmm. you have to choose one of these as your number one, okay? And you can't modify this. You want to pick one for me, Ruth? Yeah. You can't modify this in this box. Your modifier has to go here if you say no or whatever, okay? The second box then needs to address the macular edema. If you have something abnormal in the first box, you have to have some sort of macular edema in the second box. You click the third box, but yeah, okay. I can't tell because we um, <laughs> it's all <laughs> kind of scrunched up. The second box has to be something here. Where, can you click that one more time? Something here in this subset. Right. Okay. The third oh, box, okay, you okay, can okay. type okay. whatever you want to in. Well, what whatever you've been doing the like the background in the third box. Third the, box can be anything. The third box can be anything. But so if you put your the, the right basically all but in no, the first box has to either say no, has to be the default, or it has to say one of those it options. Can't be like the it can't be two stuff. MAs at six o'clock, blah blah blah. Been, I, yeah. No. That's what that's why I'm that's where we're covering it. It's sure. Um, so, can you exit out of that for a second for me? So, if you have two MAs at 6 o'clock, right, and the doctor says non-proliferative diabetic retinopathy, you can put proliferative, come over here, and you could put no, or you could have chosen the non-proliferative option, but we're just going to talk through this. The second box would address the edema. You can say the macular edema or no clinically significant macular edema, wherever it is. There we go. And then we put no here. And then the third box can have two MAs at 6 o'clock. So this, this is only on the diabetic patients. I think the place it got confused about the red is because everybody was copy data and foreign. To me, as a scribe, I mean, I've been where you guys are, trust me. I mean, I know you think that I, I don't, but I, I do know how, how this works. But the, the, there are doctors that it's helpful to copy data for. Dr. Mayer, for example, with all of those ulcers that he's following time after time, and he wants to know what did it look like yesterday or the day before. So there are doctors, and you guys know who they are, <laughs> that you do need to copy data forward on the exam page. 
that should not be your rule of thumb. Every patient, every time should, especially for routine stuff, should be seen as kind of a fresh start. And if you use the copy data forward, you should only be pulling it to look and see what was there last time and then make the modifications from there. So if they're a normal diabetic, where do I put the ERM at? In the second or third box? Third box. I put it every, everything, if they're a diabetic and there's anything other than diabetes, I always put in the third box. Mm -hmm. So just keep doing that. Even Correct. Storm. All right. That's what I do too. Yeah. If they're not a diabetic, you can put. If they're not diabetic, you can put Drusen in the first box. Yeah, I, I still, do that. I still don't because I don't want to mess yeah. with my brain. Yes, ma'am. If they're diabetic, you said they have like nothing diabetes wise, but they have a lot of other conditions. I can still put no in the second box. But the, the you can put that you're going to put the within normal your default normal in the first box because they have no nothing related to the diabetes. So correct. The first box has to be default. If no. they are diabetic, the first box has to address the diabetic retinopathy in some way, Regardless shape, or form. Regardless if they don't have anything. Correct. Then I have to put no CSME. Then I can put the urine. Right. Anything or, that doesn't relate to diabetes goes in the third box, whatever it is. If it's macular degeneration, whatever, we go in the third box. If they're diabetic, the That's first two boxes are related to diabetes. Correct. Period. Okay. The third box is everything else. So you may run out of space, but you'll have to see how it goes. Can you, does there, is there a quick section where you can add the way that, yes. you know, like we have yes, to it's, on the corner? Yes, it's here. <laughs> It's in here somewhere. I can't even see it because the. Okay, so it does have one of those little posterior. side ones. Here's the posterior. So then you, can, you, can say you have another. Here. Oh, no problem. You have another line. So you have a fourth line. So okay, in so cornea, we've had to go to the right. extra page for right. Dr. Mayer. So right. We also have an extra page for retina. Okay, cool. So yeah. Wow. Um, and then with as few people as we have left here, um, does everybody know how to build their favorites? Yeah. The tech supervisors ought to know so that they could share with the scribes. Do you know how to build favorites? I'm sorry, say that again. Do you know how to build Man, the favorites? It's been a while, so I don't okay. know. Do you want to turn that off? Thank you. So what you're going to want to do 